What is postmodernism? Postmodernism is a term applied, often loosely, to a broad movement that developed in the middle to the late 20th century across many disciplines, such as the arts, architecture, and philosophy. According to scholars, this period marked a departure from modernism. Postmodernism, together with deconstruction, has become one of the main themes of poststructuralism. Early references to postmodernism derive from discussions of and debates in the visual arts and literature, especially in the United States. Elements of the contemporary philosophy, mainly French, are then introduced into a very wide and hotly contested debate. Although postmodernist debate is mainly a product of the 1970s, the term postmodernism itself is much older and has been traced to an anthology of Spanish and Hispanic poetry from 1882 to 1932. Here, it is described as a reactionary tendency within modernism and is contrasted with the ultramodernismo associated with Lorca, Borges, and Neruda. Two decades later, the term was being used by American poets such as Charles Olson and Robert Creeley, and then in the artistic circles where pop art was beginning to challenge modernist abstractions championed by Greenberg. In 1971, the Journal of New Literary History published a special issue on Modernism and Postmodernism, which included Ihab Hassan's influential practical bibliography of postmodernism. In philosophical terms, the key postmodernist text is Jean-Francois Lyotard's La Condition Postmoderne, which alludes to Hassan's early notes on postmodernism, as well as to the effects on human knowledge of computerization and the more general idea of post-industrial society. Liuta, however, associates the postmodern primarily with a stance against grand narratives of progress, socialism, and the Enlightenment. Like Richard Rorty's rejection of foundationalism, the Utah's rejection of grand narratives unsettles the stability of traditional notions of reason and rationality. While Baudrillard's comments on the simulacrum calls into question the existence of reality itself by pointing out that in some sense, Disneyland is more real than the real America in which it was built.